Yeah, this button sometimes uh, overrides the automatic uh, process because sometimes the pins automatically, you know, somehow get confused and they don't lock in. So you have to do it manually. Yo, everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, tonight, uh, as you all know, according to my previous uh, video, I'm doing night shift. I'm heading to one of our company depots. There's no uh, uh, forklift driver, or as we call that big machine, uh, rich stacker driver. So I need to look after myself. So I thought uh, I'll make a video about it and I'll give you a bit of a tour about that big machine and how it's uh, operated. So tag along and let's see what lays ahead of us. Big lights. Buckle up. So all the controls are mounted here on this uh, joystick here. Then I adjust the steering wheel. And this is the gear shifter. So it's in park mode. You pull it up forward, and that's park mode. So you do it reverse. So push forward this like drive gear and that's it I am going to pick up the e-trailer box first that's the way we do it so in order at the moment the, the boom uh, is in 20 foot size so I need to put it in 40 so, so there's a button underneath the joystick I hold that one and I push this joystick here to the left or right and that will I think now to the right and that will set it to 40 foot size and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the Rather line up the center of the, the machine with the center of the container, put it in park mode, and there you go. So I need to push the cabin forward in order to be able to have a closer look at what we're doing. push it to the left to uh, retract the, the crane and then push it forward to bring it down I need to do it a little bit more yeah. Yeah, both sides the uh, pins are in yeah, and uh, I need to use that button. So when you get the green light, that means it's all locked in. The pins are locked in and you can pull up. So by pulling the joystick to backwards, you're gonna make the crane go up. There you go. Now put it in reverse mode. to the next stage which is uh, placing this box uh, in one of those uh, stacks these two boxes that I'm carrying are not that heavy this one is about six ton the other one is 12 so I don't, I don't have it won't be challenging Loading or unloading a heavy box 
place you're going to drop off the container and you're going to make sure visibility when operating at night so yeah I think I'm gonna be able to show you better this time how you can adjust the center of the machine with the center of the container there you go As you can see those two pins that's the center of my trailer so if it's just a container it might be hard for beginners to find the center but when it's on a trailer you can easily find the center of the trailer using
job. I just do it every now and then when I come to the company depot and there's no stacker driver to lift me off. There you go. I press those two buttons underneath the joystick. I get the orange and red light and that's it. And when parking up or when I'm done with my operation, I try to retract it to uh, 20 foot mode just to be on the safe side. Just as I do here today. Yeah, it just makes things easier for everyone. And then uh, you gotta raise the crane to a level that, you know, if a truck gets uh, quite close, they get enough clearance to pass through, otherwise, it will be a bit risky. Are done and dusted, and yeah, just park it in the same spot, and that's it. Yeah, just make sure I retract the crane all the way. Yeah, put it in park mode by pulling the gear shifter towards the towards myself and push it forward and that's it and then turn the ignition off done and dusted I forgot to uh, put the cab uh, in the default position because as you can see I am uh, confined by the crane's uh, hydraulics I can't get out need to put it back in the default position Yeah. 